The Curse of Pendle Hill Nestled deep within the rugged, mist-shrouded moorlands of Lancashire England, lies a place shrouded in an eerie, foreboding aura that has sent shivers down the spines of those who have dared to venture close. This ominous place, known as Pendle Hill, has a dark and unsettling history that stretches back centuries, a history steeped in witchcraft, superstition, and tales of the supernatural. Pendle Hill, often referred to as the Witch Hill, is a brooding, solitary massif that rises ominously from the Lancashire countryside. Its imposing presence has long cast a sinister shadow over the landscape, earning it a reputation as one of the most haunted and mysterious places in all of England. One of the most chilling aspects of Pendle Hill's history is its association with the infamous Pendle Witch Trials of 1612. During this dark period, a dozen men and women from the surrounding villages were accused of practicing witchcraft and were subsequently tried and hanged. Their supposed malevolent powers were said to have emanated from the very heart of Pendle Hill, where they gathered in secret to perform their unholy rituals. Legend has it that the spirits of these condemned witches continue to haunt the hill and its surrounding areas. Locals speak of eerie apparitions, shadowy figures that materialize out of thin air, and ghostly voices that echo through the night. One eyewitness, a farmer named Samuel Turner, recalls a harrowing encounter on the slopes of Pendle Hill. I was out checking on my sheep one moonless night, and as I approached the hill, I saw a group of spectral figures gathering around a gnarled tree. They were chanting in a language I couldn't understand, and their eyes glowed with an unholy light. I tried to run, but I was rooted to the spot by an unseen force. The figures turned towards me, and their gaze pierced my very soul. I felt a cold, clammy hand on my shoulder, and then I blacked out. When I awoke, I was alone, but the memory of those ghostly figures haunts me to this day. Another local, Mary Foster, claims to have heard the ghostly cries of the Pendle witches on countless occasions. I live at the foot of Pendle Hill, and when the wind howls through the trees and the rain lashes against my windows, I can hear the anguished cries of those poor souls who were unjustly accused and put to death. Their tormented voices echo through the night, and it sends chills down my spine. I've seen their ghostly apparitions on the hill, too, walking in a mournful procession, forever cursed, to relive their tragic fate. But it's not just the spirits of the accused witches that are said to haunt Pendle Hill, there are other, more malevolent entities rumored to lurk in its dark corners. The hill's very geology seems to breed an air of unease, with its jagged rocks and twisted trees casting eerie silhouettes against the night sky. One tale that has terrified locals for generations involves a creature known as the Pendle Beast. Described as a grotesque, hulking figure with matted fur and piercing red eyes, this creature is said to roam the hill after dark, hunting for unsuspecting prey. Emma Johnson, a hiker who had a terrifying encounter with the Pendle Beast, recounts her ordeal, I was on a solo hike up Pendle Hill one evening when I heard a strange, guttural growl coming from behind a cluster of boulders. I froze in my tracks and could feel the hair on the back of my neck stand on end. Then, this hideous, monstrous thing emerged from the shadows. It had twisted limbs and a face that looked like a grotesque mask. I couldn't move, and I thought I was going to die right there. But as suddenly as it appeared, it vanished into thin air. I've never been so scared in my life. The Pendle Beast is just another one of the many sinister legends that have contributed to the hill's ominous reputation. Some locals claim that ancient pagan rituals once took place on the hill, leaving behind residual energies that continue to permeate the land. Others believe that the hill is a portal to another realm, allowing otherworldly entities to cross over into our world. Visitors to Pendle Hill often report feelings of unease and dread, as if an invisible presence is watching their every move. The very atmosphere seems to thicken with an otherworldly energy, and the air grows cold, 
even on the warmest of days. Some have even claimed to witness unexplainable phenomena, such as orbs of light that dance in the night sky or ghostly figures that vanish as quickly as they appear. Pendle Hill's aura of dread and mystery extends to its many ancient landmarks. One such landmark is the Eye of God, a peculiar rock formation that has long been associated with supernatural occurrences. Local legend, has it that anyone who dares to touch the Eye of God will be cursed with bad luck for the rest of their days. Derek Reynolds, a skeptical journalist, scoffed at the legend, and decided to investigate it for himself. He recounts his ill-fated experience, I thought it was all nonsense, of course. But to prove a point, I touched the eye of God without a second thought. That night, my life took a sinister turn. I lost my job, my relationship fell apart, and misfortune seemed to follow me wherever I went. It was as if I had invited a malevolent force into my life. I eventually had to seek the help of a local priest, to rid myself of the curse, and even then, it took years to fully recover. The enigmatic awe of Pendle Hill also extends to the surrounding forests, where the trees appear twisted and gnarled, as if they have borne witness to unspeakable horrors. It is said that some trees are so ancient that they have absorbed the dark energies of the hill, becoming conduits for the supernatural. One particularly eerie account comes from Jack Thompson, a forestry worker. I was out in the woods one day, deep in the heart of Pendle Hills Forest, when I heard a strange, mournful wailing. It was as if the very trees were crying out in agony. I followed the sound and came across an ancient oak tree, its branches contorted into grotesque shapes. The wailing seemed to emanate from the tree itself, and I felt an overwhelming sense of sadness and despair. I couldn't explain it, but I knew I had to get away from that place as fast as I could. The legends and eyewitness accounts surrounding Pendle Hill continue to grow, feeding into its chilling reputation. Whether it's the lingering spirits of the Pendle Witches, the enigmatic Pendle Beast, or the haunting presence of the Eye of God, this foreboding hill stands as a testament to the enduring power of the supernatural in the human psyche. In the depths of the Lancashire moorlands, Pendle Hill remains a place where the line between reality and the paranormal blurs, where the past and present intertwine, and where the unexplained continues to terrify those who dare to venture into its shadowy embrace. It serves as a haunting reminder that some mysteries are best left unexplored, and that the darkest secrets of the past may never truly rest in peace. So, should you ever find yourself in the vicinity of Pendle Hill, be cautious, for you may just encounter something beyond the realm of human understanding, something that will chill you to your very core. Sleep well.